What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're mostly be talking about Scream 6 in this video, specifically about the character of Quinn, Richie Kirsch's sister, who we know we met in Scream 6, good friend of Sam and Tara's, turned baddie, uh, also played wonderfully by Liana Liberato. Now, one of the biggest concerns, I guess, problems I've seen in response to the character of Quinn since the film has dropped is her fake out death sequence and shout out to a lot of you who sent dms to me telling me that i lied for months about quinn not being the killer yes i did lie because i'm not going to tell you that she was and dermot made it easy by giving that statement all the way back in like june or right around the time filming ended or right before it started so it was very fun to kind of just try to protect the secret as much as i could but there's been a lot of uh people who are like her fake out is the worst fake out in the history of the franchise i just wanted to go over a way in which it could have been done better and maybe a lot of you have thought of this maybe some of you will be in agreement with this scenario so in scream six her throat is presumably slashed a picture is sent to the core four who thinks she's just back at pound town with one of her buddies that comes over to have pound town fun and that's not what's going on. They all get a picture sent to them, texted to them. Still don't really understand the logic of that. And we see Quinn being attacked by Ghostface in said image. By the time they go over to the door to help save Quinn, Quinn comes flying through it. Her throat is presumably slashed. She appears to be dead. Ultimately, later in the film, it's revealed that she is not dead at all. She is the daughter of Dermot's character of Wayne Bailey, who is also the father to Ethan Bailey and they are the family of richie curse out for revenge against sam because they killed richie in screen five now how could that have been done better it could have been done in the third act meaning the problem i've seen a lot of people start up about when it comes to the fake out death is the fact that wayne's explanation makes people's brain just kind of ask these questions that could have been avoided if you wrote it a little bit more neatly i guess i'll say so i don't mind it but i can recognize that i would have executed a lot differently than that i would not have had her fake out occur and then have an explanation set up to say that oh well you know we killed another person swapped queen's body out with a fresh body and then that's how we ended up getting away with it sure that's logical but then the other question i've seen raised is okay well what were they going to say at the end when Quinn is revealed to be alive how are they going to explain that now of course I'm assuming they had a plan for that I don't really find that to be all that important but the way you could have avoided that is if Quinn had died in the third act so the fake out death that Chad has could have been saved for Quinn he she shouldn't have been stabbed up like that that's not what I'm saying but with the explanation of the fact that there was a prosthetic on her neck I think that could have been I think that could have been saved for the finale. Quinn could have literally been portrayed as this reliable roommate. There could have been many instances in the film where she gets attacked by Ghostface. She's she's promoted as this reliable friend off and on or more than once we are proven that she is not the killer, so that is how her reveal could have ended up being shocking. Make her very likable, which she was, and then in the finale have a fake out death where maybe she is attacked in a room and she can come flying through the doors at the theater location or somewhere in that theater shrine location and that prosthetic explanation could have still been given but here's how this would have made it better it was a sheriff uh, officer how is your daughter alive they could have avoided all of that by just simply having the fake out occur in the third act queen could have been attacked from behind by two ghost face killers her father and her uh her brother they could have taken her somewhere a bunch of loud noises occurred now they would have had to have definitely done it in a way and makes in a way that makes it very convincing that she's actually being killed because i think the off-screen aspect would have raised a lot of red flags for people but have her come out of the wherever she ends up being pulled into her throat is slashed and then minutes later during the shrine finale we see three killers and we ultimately are then revealed that it's quinn under one of those masks 
that is the way it should have been done because it again would avoid these extra questions people have okay well how are you going to explain her being alive then the reason that's a question that's a valid question to have is because her death occurred so early on you pretended that she was dead swapped her body out with a fresh one somebody we don't even know how the complete context of that what is this fresh one when did you kill this person are you talking about somebody that you killed during this spree that we don't know or are you talking about somebody you killed prior to the the spree starting and you swapped their body out for queens i would assume that while this was going on with the fake out one of the other family members must have been off somewhere killing this quote-unquote fresh body they had and drove it to the place swapped it out for Quinn when I explain it it does sound a little bit overly convoluted that's why they probably could have done it a lot better by just saving it in the third act because then it doesn't sound so messy when you sit down and think oh well how did you do this how did you do that you don't have to worry about that because it all would have happened in the third act plus you would have gotten a lot more time with Liana Liberato on screen as the character of Quinn because she did again a wonderful job saving it for the third act killing her at the shrine location but then ultimately revealing her as one of the third killers should have been done that way that way you don't have to worry about the questions like how are you going to explain it to the public who is this other fresh body because that whole other thing with the fresh body while again i'm okay with how they did it i just would have done it this way because i think it would have been much better and it would erase people attacking the way you did it but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. You did it. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.